What up, hip-hop lovers? This is Vicky, and you're watching Lex and Vicky Rap Zone. Jenner Lucas and Tori Lanes arrived with, uh, you know, a track from nowhere. I was expecting Jenner Lucas to drop in his album, but he postponed it. Uh, so he decided to, I guess, end a beef with Tory Lanez and Tory Lanez didn't mind. Let's hear the track called Shook. Why it's a remix? Because the original song was executed by uh, Baby, and this is just the instrumental they're using for their own track. So let's listen to it. Let's go. Ain't no one colder than me. Yeah. I'm straight from the mud. I got me a plug and now I be rolling with me. Wow. You think wow. of the shit? I the snitch. You probably be helming the yeah. weed. I hit up Tori yeah. and told him, I know you don't like me, but fuck it, I'm over the beef. Wow. Told him we could be friends, invited him over and gave him some soda and bleach. Here you go. So here we hear, here we hear <laughs> in the lyrics that I invited Tori over to and uh, ask him if he wants to end a beef. And I um, offered him a soda and a bleach. Haha! -ha. I don't know. I don't. I don't understand the bleach. Maybe uh, connected to something. If you know, let me know. But uh, so he offered Tori to end beef, and Tori jumped on track, so he didn't mind doing it. The beef actually started in November 2018 when uh, Tory Lanez was on his Instagram live talking to his fans and I guess someone asked him about Joyner and he said that uh, he's better than Joyner. Not exactly these words but I'll insert what did he say. And um, that's how it started. Joyner heard it or so someone told him about it and they started uh, going back and forth with the beef, different tracks. Tory Lanez dropped a track with an instrumental for Lucky You from Eminem's Kamikaze album. And then Joyner dropped another track, like an answer to that one. I think that was the um, beat from the ZZ track. And then Tory Lanez followed up and Joyner followed up and then it didn't end anywhere. So I guess this is the end. Soft, go take a stroll on the beach. Yeah. Nigga, I got the sauce. Bitch, I'm a dog. Just don't get a hold of my leash. Yeah, Y'all nigga back to the bluff. Trying to get back to the bus. I fight if I go to prison and free all my niggas. That's word that Harry and Tugman. Why do you ask me questions? I'm sick of it. Why you keep shutting shit down on the internet? Why do you have so much talent and benefits? Why you keep dropping on the sharing it? Nigga, I'm just getting started. I hit on my targets. I promise I'm very... Too many problems. Fire. I told that little bitch that I'm down with a threesome as long as it's you and your mama. Yeah. I ain't got no patience. I let it get dirty, but fuck it, I'm cool with the drama. Oh, come on, Joyner. Are you just shooting some mama jokes in here? <laughs> he says something. I'm uh, ready for threesome if it's me, you, and your mama. Well, come on. <laughs> Cool. When niggas be hating, I tell them no worries, my nigga Kuna Matata. I don't wear Prada, just bring me a white tee, I bust all my jealous, I still wear the Nikes, I run with some hitters, I know you don't like me, I shit on you niggas, now bring me some white you can be, I ain't got no... Jenner Lucas' net worth is now ex uh, estimated to be over $1 million, uh, yet he is very simple man, he doesn't like brands, and uh, he was mentioning it in the beginning of his career that he doesn't need any of those um, expensive brands just you know it's not for me i got money to buy it but it's not for me and here he says i don't need prada bring me a white tee um, and i don't wrap some kind of shoes brand i like my nikes i really i really like this and um i always wonder how people who can't afford so many things, so many expensive things, just to go with the simplicity and, you know, waste money on something more important. Feelings are day to fight me. I feel with a lip, but I'm really a writing and pussy and money. Got my credit to hit me a lick, then I got me some money to get me a crib and it blew it on bitches from plenty of fish. Fuck was I thinking? I'm going. Shout out to a POF, plenty of fish dating app. That's what Drenner raps about. I spent, I waste money on uh, the girls from Plenty of Fish. 
uh, what was I thinking about? Um, maybe he really did, maybe it was just a great pun that he just spent money on um, useless dates that w wasn't leading to anything. And he just shouted out plenty of fish. Back to the streets. If Freddie and Jason had babies, my nigga, I promise and that would be me. Word. Niggas all on my honey and acting all funny. I think I'm attracted to media. Ready, nobody wanna see me. If a nigga heating up, I'm like oh a sickle cell anemia. I really mean it, but I'm about to slow a nigga breathing up. I think it's seen enough. I go to hell and fuck a demon up. I think I'm mean enough to beat a nigga with a deed until I stop a stick and stop a sucker punch when I'm sneaking up. This reminded me of Homicide. I don't know why. <laughs> like very fast and the you know not the beat but just the flow it really might run me the Eminem from the homicide track or um like that this be this way or it also reminded me uh the track uh, from uh Nicki Minaj album where Majesty where Eminem was uh on a feet uh do you remember that one it kind of the Eminem's flow there reminded me this flow. Honestly, like so, like similar. No offense, don't hate me. It's just my humble opinion. I might be wrong. That's fine. So he says, I'm the bomb like TNT, gonna run you over uh, with my GMC, something else, I run the, re the race like DMC, let's jump straight into business of, or let's, uh, let's continue like EMPD, EPMD, TNT, it's uh, some type of chemical that causes an explosion and he says I'm uh, I'm the bomb like TNT so like he can explode then uh, GMC um, that's probably SUV or truck <laughs> that he's gonna run over with and e -M -E -P -M -D. Uh, so he says now I'm back in business EPMD so EPMD is a duo, a hip hop duo from New York, and these guys been in and out throughout the, their hip hop career a lot. So they started, I think, uh, end of 80s or 90s, and they uh, performed for several years. Then they were off, so like they were featured nowhere they weren't executing anything for like four years then they continued 1993 until up to um 1999 or like 2000 then they stopped then six years no one heard anything from them and then in 2006 they started uh, performing again and producing music again uh, until today even though i haven't heard uh anything from them but uh, in a while, actually. <laughs> but anyways, I think he's shouting out them. Or maybe someone else also. If you know the annotation to this line, uh, the one, now I'm back in business, EPMD, let me know. I'm really interested. I just thought he might be comparing uh, them to, uh, to this duo. Okay. Let's hear what Tory Lanez has to say. Packing the mail, I sit it down and it's packing the scale. Had a switch position from the kitchen, nigga. I was flipping like a spatula deal. Pretty Ricky with them bitches when I'm hitting long as a dread on spectacular hair, hair, shit like AK loaded up the same way. Shane Sway, white person screaming out, gang, gang. Try to kick Jet Li and Luke K, K, K. I got a little V, he got me beige guard like, but it ain't gang, gang, nigga, please. I got all nigga cheese, yeah, I got all nigga knees. Can't let a four nigga roll up, put a hole in your shit, and then let the whole nigga leave, man. Y'all niggas know a nigga T, O, R, Y, all my niggas. Mm. okay so many bars so many rhymes and it's the heaven for lyricists i love lyrics i i love love the smart rhymes just to take the word and break it into little tiny parts and find these perfect rhymes for each part and here both in joiner's part and in uh, Tory Lane's part, that's what they do. They just break it down so tiny. It's satisfying. Like my ears are in heaven right now. Love it.
So he says here something. I heard something. Uh, you fox, uh, fox, n word roll up. Whenever I heard this, I just thought about Drake because I know they had this with him, and I feel like he might be shoot uh, shooting some lines uh, in this track towards Drake. But um, okay, let's just hear more. Maybe I'm mistaken. When I load, get low, get low, get low. Shout out to the uh, get low uh, track with uh, Eastside Boys and Lil Jon. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so I've been shooting else to Joiner and Don for acting too light skin. Uh, I've been shouting else, that's obvious, to Don, Don Q. He was having a diss. Tory Lanez was having a diss with Don. And then to Joiner, they had a diss for acting too light skinned. Light skin, Drake. Do you feel the. Um, you know, the comparison? So, uh, for acting like Drake, oh my gosh, it's just getting hotter and hotter. Which one you want to die with the Nana Beretta? I'm sorry for being intolerant. I got this violent temper I like when I'm. Written on Thule, Thule again. Uh, the last lane. Um, remember, uh, I'm really a top three. Uh, it's also a funny story because a lot of lists are there out there on the internet. And a lot of different magazines and websites, different ranking uh, websites post uh, top 50, top 100, top 10 rappers of each year, right? So 2019, there were different ranking websites that posted um, these top lists of rappers of 2019. And Tory Lanez never made a top 10 as far as I've seen. No, he actually did. He was top eight at one of them. On the other list, it was created by Ranker Music and they took uh, all the people that were making a billboard um, appearances of 2019 uh, and Junior made number nine while Tory Lanez, I think he was at 65, number 65. I don't really know how legit these lists are, but nevertheless, uh, Tory Lanez was to let everyone know that he still got the crown and he's top three. Well, anyway, what can I say about this track? It's the bomb. Love it. Both are flexing, both are talking about money and wealth, about guns. I noticed that both Joyner Lucas and Tory Lanez said that um, they like guns and they have passion for guns. Tori Lanez mentioned specific names, the Nine and Beretta or Bernetta. I'm not sure, I don't know. And Joyner just said he likes it. Also Genius uh, counted how many words per second did each of them, Joyner Lucas and Tori Lanez use. And Joyner Lucas used seven words per second. Uh, while Tory Lanez used six words per second, wrapped, not used, but you know. So actually, Joyner was a little faster, but 
both of them, the flow, I liked them both. So I guess it beef is over. So let's congratulate them. <laughs> Maybe on the newest album that Joyner is going to release, HD, ADHD. Joyner, please move faster with that one. Maybe they're gonna have some other features together on that one. So let's hope so. Because when they both get on the track, wow, that's something else. Thank you so much for watching this reaction with me, with this breakdown, I guess. And hope you stay tuned with Hip Hop Lovers, you stay, stay tuned with our channel. We are preparing a lot more for you guys. Besides reactions, we want to still do the live concerts and do uh, different covers and so on and so forth. So stay tuned with us for more and let us know what else would you like to see on our channel below in the comment section. Thank you so much and stay tuned with Hip Hop Lovers at Lex and Vicky Rap Zone. Peace.